Shooters, but I'm trying to kill. I cook a bitch like I'm popping a pill. I cook a bitch like I'm cooking up a meal. I do not play, I do not play. Hope you believe me. Your hands like your face. Do as I say. Do hey, you guys, welcome to bed time with baby. If you ain't in bed yet, you probably should be. So, today we're going to talk about Cardi's WAP interview on Beats One with Sukihana, Ruby Rose, Miss Mulatto, and Damn. Who was the other person? Oh, you know what? There was only there actually that was it. That 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 was it. Never mind. The other girl was just the interviewer and I don't know her name, but she be on, you know, with um with uh Joe Bi Joe Budden. She used to be on that one show, which name that I didn't watch because fuck Joe Budden. But um Anyways, y'all, so the interview was really good. Like, I honestly really enjoyed it. And um, for the first time ever, like, I'm actually starting to like Cardi again. Like, um, I really, really, let me just, let me just say this before I even start the interview. Before I start my, before I start talking about the interview. When Cardi first came out, and I'm talking about when Cardi first came out. When Cardi was on, when Instagram making little funny skits, being weird, doing funny shit. You know, before Bodak Yellow even thought about it, I was really fucking with Cardi. She was funny. She was doing funny shit. You know, she was a cute little strip bitch or whatever. Or something like that. Um, then I knew Bodak Yellow was going to blow up. When she dropped that Instagram clip, I knew blow, Bodak Yellow was going to blow up. Matter of fact, I swear to God, if, you go, if that video is still up, you will go look at my comment because I promise you it was there. And I had said, this is going to go number one. I knew. So when it dropped, I was super excited. I was really happy for her because, I mean, like, we didn't have no other rap bitches. I was really excited to see another rap bitch flourish. Like, that was a pinnacle moment for me in history, for everyone. It should have been. For me... Where Cardi failed me as an art as a as a figurehead, where I feel like Cardi failed, is when she tried to turn against Nicki. Like when she didn't speak up, when people were comparing her to Nicki, or when she spoke up on the wrong side and tried to make it seem like it was Nicki. I didn't fuck with her no more. I didn't fuck with that because Nicki is the queen of rap, and honestly, her and Nicki should have never been in the same conversation together. The way I see it, people don't put Jay Z and NBA Young Boy in the same conversation, or they don't even put J Cole in the same conversation. As these types of folks. And he more so on, you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's not the point here. Dorian, my point is, I did not appreciate the Nikki, the the Nikki comparisons, the Nikki bashing. I didn't like her attitude towards Nikki. And that really turned me off towards Kat the Cardi. Like I I couldn't fuck with her no more. Like Nikki is somebody who established this rap game shit. Like, I don't care who came before Nikki, like the way that rap is now, and I don't know, I don't know if to blame her or praise her for this, because rap is really just, it's gone, it's a lot going on. I'm gonna cover it, but Nicki really is the basis for this Barbie shit, this doll shit, these bitches that look like fucking supermodel rap bitches put together doll parts. Like Nicki started this. There was these plastic bitches. Nicki created all of them, whether she plastic or not. She made these bitches. Like these, these are her clones. Like all of them. And so I just didn't, I didn't appreciate like. The Nikki hate the niggas. I didn't appreciate her riding the Nikki hate train. Like Nikki is more than a rapper. She's more than an artist. She's an icon and a legendary one at that. And so for Cardi to turn her nose up and Nikki, I just couldn't fuck with her no more. You know what I'm saying? And so let me begin the interview. So let me get into the interview. The interview was really good. Um. The interview really showed me a different side of Cardi. Like, the what I perceive of Cardi on the internet the last year and a half has really all been negative. Like, she, I think for a minute, um, she really let that fame get to her. Like, she was getting folks jumped. She got them twins jumped. Uh, she had some dude jumped outside of her concert. Uh, she turned on her manager. I just really felt like for a minute, 
Cardi really let the fame get to her head. And she wasn't that down-to-earth, humble girl who came out the strip club no more. And I kind of understand it. Because when you come from a place where people are ridiculing you, where people don't believe in you, where people have all this negative shit to say to you, when you finally get your hand in, in the pot of gold, you want to show out a bit. And so, you know, I'm really starting to see that just like the rest of us, Cardi is only human, you know what I'm saying? And people make mistakes, and she not perfect, none of us are perfect, and I really feel like, if this is real, because you know, I feel like bitches will fake the funk to get anywhere, so I don't know, I will have my eye on her, but if this is real, if she's being genuine, and she mean what she say, then I will give her a fresh start, I will give her a fresh chance, like in my eyes, like I will let her rebirth herself as she said in her interview i will let her be this new bitch that she want to be i think she deserved that we all deserve that none of us will want to do bad things in life and that be how people see us for the rest of our lives and so with that being said i will give cardi a fresh start and so let's get into the interview so in the interview cardi had on um she in her wap video she had uh, Miss Mulatto, Ruby Rose, Suki Hana, and, and, and you know, Normani and friends. But th those girls don't matter. It's just, we're, this is about the rap bitches. She had these rap bitches that are up and coming. And I feel like, you know, for the most part, she, she picked girls that are like her. She didn't really pick, uh, like, she could have had Asian Dolls. She could have had Rico Nasty. She could have had, she could have had Stunner Girl. She could have had, she she picked rap bitches who also rap about their pussy, you know? She These pussy talk bitches. I don't know. We're going to have to um, start change. We're going to have to create new genres because these rap bitches are genres, you know? It's not like they got trap and stuff. They they need pussy talk rap. And, and so these are the pussy talk rappers. This is what I'm going to call them because I don't know what else to call them. So for now, these are the pussy talk rappers. So we got these bitches that be talking about their pussy. Um... I feel like Cardi kind of started this whole pussy talk shit because I don't know. I don't know if bitches was really rapping about the, like, people like to say Nicki rapped about her pussy, but Nicki really didn't. Like, y'all gonna have to really give me, like, a whole era of Nicki because, like, we had Pink Friday. Nicki wasn't rapping about her pussy in Pink Friday at all. We had the pink print. Nicki wasn't rapping. Queen, that, Queen was probably the most Nicki rapped about her pussy. And then every feature Nicki ever did, like, honestly, the, Nicki was never one of these pussy talk rappers. She always been deeper. She's always been more. So for me, Nicki has always been my standard of rap. Like, I grew up on Nicki, you know, just like the rest of y'all. Nicki has been my standard of rap. Um, I really believe in a bitch for one, who push her own pen. Like, if you not pushing your pen, I don't really fuck with you. Like, I'm sorry. It's hard for me to be in your corner and you don't write, sis. Because the problem with bitches that don't write, in my opinion, is that we are not getting real female perspective. And y'all, like, in this, this song, in this rap video, all y'all claim to be feminists and women talking and owning their sexuality, but if you don't write your music, that's not possible. That's not a real narrative. That is a fake narrative. And I really want to make that clear. If you are not the lyricist, the writer, the narrative that you push onto society is not real. Especially if it's coming from a man's pen, like the City Girls. Yachty writes your music? Like, that's weird to me. Like, you're letting a nigga create the female perspective. And that should not be possible because who is creating the male perspective? Not fucking females? Now, Nicki do write a couple songs for, like, Playboy Cardi and stuff. But for the most part, for the majority of the part, males are creating their own perspective. So, for y'all to allow men to come into a woman's space... And create the narrative is really a problem. And y'all should not be allowed. And, like, we should not allow that. We should not, as as women, as feminists, we should not be accepting of that. And I don't accept that. So if a man, um, especially if a man is pushing your pen, I don't accept that. I'm sorry. I just can't. I can't get on that wave. But just for the pussy talk rappers in general, because Miss Mulatto, she a pussy talk rapper, but she's also a lyricist, okay? My sis writes her own music, and I fuck with some of her stuff. Like, you know, like, um, from the South, real ass, I don't even know it's from the South. It's, I just know it's called from the South or something like that. I don't know the, 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 the real name. Real ass, bitch ass, bitch. I fuck with that. That's hard. And she got some other stuff that I like. I didn't, I didn't like the freaky girl. 
um, song because I don't fuck with bitches getting on legendary beats and not living up to legendary standards, okay? That's the thing to me. Like, if you're not going to push your pen the way the legends did it, don't do it. I said the same thing to Asian Dog when she did Itty Bitty Piggy. Don't don't think it's just these certain bitches that I, I it's not that. I just don't touch a legendary beat if you don't have a legendary pen, sis, okay? Because I'm really for rap bitches pushing that pen. If you're not... Every day, every day that I fucking write a song, if, if my if I'm not pushing my pen, I'm not gonna release it. You'll never see it. You'll never hear it. Because at the end of the day, to me, it's all about lyricism, and it, I mean it's about vibes too. But it's it's really about honing your craft and becoming better. It's it's not about just making these little catchy songs that are only here. Y'all have to realize that a lot of these bitches, especially these pussy talk bitches, these songs not gonna be around. I'm sorry, like. We not finna be looking at y'all like we look at Trina and them. It's just not finna happen. I just don't see it happening that way. I, I don't. I don't see... Like, most of these songs that most of y'all have put out already, um, not no disrespect to none of y'all, because I really do fuck with every last person on this page, even Cardi at this point. Every song that y'all put out is gonna be forgotten. Like, Bodak Yellow probably won't be because it was just such a le legendary moment. But other than that, every other, every other song on this, every other song that y'all didn't release, that, nobody's gonna be talking about these songs. They not going to go down in history. They just not. Sorry. But, yeah, so, like, I just feel like, you know, don't be doing shit. Y'all can't live up to, you feel me? But, yeah, like, I fuck with um these people. I, she picked people that are, are really like her and that are going to end up doing basically what she do. And so one thing that they addressed, and I'm going to insert Suki's clip. And I wish I had a, a clip of what Miss Mulatto said, but... Um, we're gonna roll Suki's clip. Like, sexual shit, like, I don't see nothing wrong with that because, baby, I got uh, uh, three kids. And, I mean, <laughs> I got these kids from sucking and fucking. At the end of the day, me being a hoe, like these people say, like, honestly, I liberate a lot of, a lot of hoes. You feel me? When I hear Cardi talk about popping some pussy, me and my bitches is with it. Like, we, that liberate us because it's like, fuck you, self respect ass hoes. Cause how y'all got self respect? <laughs> like, I don't think y'all got self respect like that. Cause first of all, you supposed to tax these niggas. That's self respect. You feel me? Like, I just, it make me feel liberated. Like, I love crossing boundaries. Cause guess what? Scare money don't make no money. If you gonna be scared to get that money, you gonna be scared to be yourself and say, this who I am, then you ain't gonna get that coin like that. Thanks. Thanks. Um, I kind of feel some type of way about her saying that. You know, Suki, I fuck with Suki. Shout out Suki, that's my bitch. Um, I'm in a couple of her videos, if you haven't seen. I didn't work with Suki. I didn't met her in person. Um, I really don't feel like Suki is like this in person. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know her, know her. We not friends, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, uh, we only socialize on her sets. Um, she rode with me once or twice, but like, she real quiet. From what I get from her, she don't know me, so she quiet. She's real down to earth, like shy type of person, and she kind of like gets into character. So um, I don't know if this is how she really is, or she's she's stepping into this and becoming this person, or or this is just the act. I remember one time she said she sold her soul or some shit like that. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this is how she really is on a day to day life, or she's still becoming this character. But uh, she said that we all came from sucking and fucking. And I just want to say something. I didn't come from sucking and fucking. Um, your kids, you, you, I don't like to speak on people's kids. But you you might have came from sucking and fucking. Your kids might have came from sucking and fucking. But I came from my parents making love. My parents were loved. They loved each other. And that's how I was made. I was made from love. And when I have kids, my kids will be made from love. Not from sucking and fucking, because I don't suck and fuck, okay, I make love, like, what, I'm grown as fuck, um, I'm not out here throwing the body, and I, and y'all all address that y'all not hoes in real life, like, y'all just make whole music for hoes, and I think, I think that that's something that y'all need to address individually on y'all prep lines, because me, personally, it's one thing to say something in music, but to be this person, to be what y'all say in y'all music in real life is a whole different thing to me. I think that that's really a problem. And that's really what I have a problem with the whole music because I can't be this type of person in real life. Um, 
I think that's problematic to me. Like, I think that we don't need a bunch of hoes. We don't need young girls out here thinking that um, the way to make a bag is to run a nigga pockets. We need these girls out here making their own money, getting their own bag, being their own creative. I, I don't want no girl thinking that in order for her to make it, she got to fuck on a nigga or a nigga got to drop a bag on her. I just don't think that's a mentality that I would want any of my kids to have or any young girl, period, to have. So I don't I don't represent that and um, I don't represent that in my music. So I really don't even talk about, you know, throwing pussy for ba Birkin bags and, and niggas d doing shit for money and this pussy work for... I mean, sometimes, you know, yeah, it's cool to say occasionally, but majority of my content will not be that way. And I don't think majority of your content should be that way. So what Cardi said was like, people try to front like they don't like the pussy talk music, but in reality, they love it. I mean, yeah, I think... They do love it. I mean, and it's nasty and it's it's cool and it's it, it pops and it grabs your eye. You be like, damn, I can't believe she said some off the wall shit like that. But I feel like the real issue that people have with it is that for one, you don't have no variety. And for me, that's the biggest issue. Like, bitch, where is your variety? Why is it that the only thing that you know how to talk about is your pussy? And no offense. But from watching this interview, it seems like that's really all y'all know how to talk about. I like well-rounded... The world should like well-rounded women. Like, this is and it's, it's the same problem with men in the industry. Like, all they talk about is drugs, they dig, slinging, fighting. That's a problem, too, especially in the black community. What y'all need to know is these white folks really out here trying to fuck up our community. And they are using y'all as the fucking pawns and y'all are falling into it so effortlessly and and that's really the problem it's okay for y'all to be this way in your music sometime but we really need variety and we really need y'all to let y'all labels let y'all have variety y'all need to start pushing for different types of content if y'all have any i mean if that's even possible if y'all are even well-rounded women in real life because at this point i really don't know if y'all actually are smart, intelligent, deep thinking, thought provoking women. And I'm not talking about being a conscious rapper or nothing. This has nothing to do with that. I'm talking about, are you a, are you a person who has morals, who has, and I'm not talking about morals like uh, the, the having sex. I'm talking about a person who has principles, who has beliefs, who, who like actually stands for something in life. I want to see that somewhere either on your content in your music or on your page i need y'all to stop just being about y'all birkin bag and running these niggas pockets and that's really the problem i think that y'all i think that y'all um take that narrative and y'all turn it the way y'all want and y'all think that the public is mad about y'all just for rapping about your pussy it's not about you rapping about your pussy it's about you not having anything else to talk about and that is the real problem we don't care that y'all rap about y'all pussy like it's that this is what y'all represent 24 7 and that's really the issue that i have with y'all like first of all shout out all these bitches because i love all these bitches especially um miss mulatto because out of, out of all the bitches on the screen i think that you're the most um well-rounded person because i've heard different types of content from you and then before you broke up with her before miss mulatto even broke broke up with that nigga that she was dating i don't even know his name that random dickhead that she was dating before she broke up with that nigga she was giving us different type of content and what i realized is when women break up with men that they do step into their sexuality more because after nikki broke up with safari she did step into her sexuality more and i've noticed that lala anthony did the same thing after her and her nigga broke up like it just seems that women you know really grasp on to their sexuality after going through a tough breakup and that's fine i get that i understand that that's reasonable but what i don't want y'all to do is like get caught up in that only that because Women, as women, we fought so hard to be more than just our body parts. And so for y'all to just be bringing us back into that energy is so fucking crazy. Like, y'all are willingly going back into that energy. Um, but to play devil's advocate for a second, and I think Cardi made a really good point. Cardi said she see men, men have been dragging women for years, for one. That was one point she said. And now she said... She made three good points, actually. So, men have been dragging women for years in music and in hip-hop. True, that's facts. She also said, niggas are tricking more than ever. They're spending more money 
now than ever. And she also said women are now, these women are setting the tone and women are putting standards on that pussy. And I think that's a good thing. I'm not going to lie. Those are all facts. So playing devil's advocate, I like, I like those three things. So let's just start with the first one. Men have been dragging women in hip hop for fucking years. And it's fucking annoying that they have been. And that's true. They've been telling women how they like they dick suck they want three four tricks duh, 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 duh. and women honestly was feeding into that shit we as women we've been feeding into that shit we've been like yeah and most of y'all bitches been them tricks let niggas have two three bitches not letting a nigga do shit next time she said niggas are tricking more than ever now niggas buying bitches shit hey money bag yo the biggest trick out there right now just bought our your motherfucking lambo truck yes you're a trick she tricked your ass the fuck out I appreciate you for that. I appreciate Ari for um, really running that up. Now, now he talking about some um, not air bitch trying to get Dior. A lot of you bitches ain't even getting Michael Court. Let's just be honest though. Let's just be honest, okay? Y'all, y'all can keep fucking dreaming. All right. If you adore her, Dior her. He adore you. He ain't even Michael Court you, bitch. Okay. You'd be lucky if he sketcher you. A lot of y'all. I'm saying, keep your standards. Hey, keep your standards reasonable. But I like that. I like that niggas is tricking and they want to trick out more on females. I like that. Niggas want to buy shit. Like, because you know how many times I had niggas say, I ain't, I ain't buying bitches shit. Duh, 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 duh. This, this, these, hey, we have to thank these bitches for niggas wanting to spend money. Like, no cap. I, like, I really thank y'all bitches for that. Because if it wasn't for you bitches, niggas probably wouldn't be tricking no more. Like, no cap. I really appreciate y'all for having these niggas spend bags. You know what I'm saying? I, I, Ain't had no bags spent yet, personally. My pussy, you know, wet and gushy. The fuck you talking about? You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't be using that hoe, so. <laughs> this is that spiritual Erica Badu pussy. You can't give it to everybody. You niggas lose their mind. And I'm not trying to die because my pussy too good. And then when you got the mind and the spirit to come with the pussy, it's a whole different, it's a whole different package. You know what I'm saying? See, the thing about y'all is I really don't know if y'all got the mind and the spirit to come with that pussy. That's And that's really what I was getting at earlier is that I would really like to see more of y'all mind and more of y'all spirit. That's the problem. I don't want to just know about y'all pussy. And I wish in y'all music y'all would talk more about y'all mind and y'all spirit. Because that's the aspects of y'all that we don't know about. And that's... um what I would really like to know about. And if you can't express that through your music, because a lot of people can't, then please express it through your platforms because that's what's important. I don't know what y'all I don't know what y'all know about this world, what y'all know about life, what y'all believe in in life, and regardless of religion, regardless of all that shit, life is not about material things. Life is about love. Life is about <laughs> that's for a whole different channel. But life is not about material things. And if all you care about in this world is material things, you're a fucking NPC. And I really just hope that you bitches aren't NPCs because I stopped listening to you hoes today because I don't need no non-playable characters. And for a minute, some of y'all be looking like non-playable characters. I I'm sorry. I the way y'all make y'all music, the way y'all move, y'all be seeming like non-playable characters. I know Miss Mulatto not a, a non-playable character. I don't know about Ruby Rose. She honestly barely spoke the whole interview. The only thing she said that, that was beautiful was the, 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 the future is female, you know? That's the only thing she said that she didn't have nothing to say. And I, I worry about when bitches don't speak. And maybe she was just nervous. Maybe she just wanted to give the other bitches. Maybe she a quiet bitch. Maybe she was the girl in the class that thought things and never said things. But I really hope that you do have a mind and you do use it. But uh, I don't like how you move sometimes, especially with DDG, because he seemed like he be dubbing you, sis, and I don't like that. You too pretty to be getting dubbed. And I used to see how you moved through Georgia State, too. So, like, I seen you at State. You know, folks talk, folks talk small town. Atlanta, small town, you know, big city doing big things, but still small. You know what I'm saying? Suki Hanna same thing, you know what I'm saying? Big city, I mean, I'm not even gonna say where you stay, but like, none of that shit, but I'm saying, like, my folks stay in the same neighborhood, your folks stay in, so it's like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. Um, and then as, as far as bitches uh, setting the standard for their pussy, I think that's a good thing. I think a lot of women are making men do more for them um, if they wanna fuck, and that's good. That's good, but I think that they're having men do the wrong thing because just because, let me tell you something. And I, and I think Cardi even learned this lesson better than anybody. So I don't even know why she's telling y'all this bullshit. A nigga who got money, a nigga who got money, listen to me closely. A nigga got money, that money don't mean shit to him. 
he'll trick that shit the fuck off. A trick is gonna be a trick because that's what a trick is. But that don't mean that he love you. That don't mean he respects you. And so that that don't mean nothing. So a nigga spend a bag. A nigga with money spend a bag on you. It don't mean nothing. Now if a broke nigga spend some money on you. Now we talking something because a broke nigga is a stingy with his money. He don't want to give up his money, especially on no pussy. But a rich nigga don't give a fuck about no fucking money, bitch. That money come a dime a dozen, he'll make that shit back tomorrow. It means nothing. It don't mean he love you. It don't mean he respect you. It means absolutely nothing, okay? Money means nothing to a rich nigga. And I think you should know with all your experiences, offset, tricking off, and I don't even want to get your business because I ain't trying to be disrespectful for real, for real. Like, it's not even like that. I'm off your case, for real, bitch. I don't got no beef with you no more. Like, I swear to God. But like I'm saying, like, no amount of money is going to make that nigga respect you. A nigga is going to respect your mind and he's going to respect your heart and spirit. Okay? And he should respect your body as it come with it. But I'm saying, him spending money not going to make him do that. You know what I'm saying? For one, he just got to be a good person. Some niggas just ain't shit. A nigga with money, just because a nigga got money don't make him a good person. It don't mean he should be the person that's giving you pussy. And I think that's some shit that y'all should incorporate in your fucking music. Like, just because a nigga is a trick don't mean you... Should be giving him play. Let him trick off, but that don't mean you should be fucking off, okay? Period. Because he still might not be the one. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. And I'm only I'm only 23 years old, but I've been around this block and I know what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. Like, I didn't dealt, I didn't date drug dealers, too. Like, what the fuck you mean? I didn't date drug dealers. I didn't have rich niggas trying to talk to me. Like, what the fuck? Like, I ain't... Come on now. The fuck? I didn't have NFL players, basketball players, like dead ass. I didn't have real niggas trying to talk to me. But at the end of the day, a trick is a fucking trick. And honestly, I don't even want no nigga money. If a nigga not coming at me correct, because I, I, don't, I don't want a nigga to say I accept this shit from him. And da, 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 like, I don't want him to say that. And I don't want him to think that because I accepted something from him, that he's entitled to something. And that's what a lot of these rich niggas think. They think because they do something for you that you owe them something. And you don't want no nigga thinking that. And so... It's not always about, like, low self-esteem. I know a lot of girls, like, feel uncomfortable accepting things from men. And these women are making you feel more comfortable with accepting things from men. But I hope that while they're making you feel more acceptable from taking things from men, that they're also getting across the point that just because you accept something from a man, you don't owe him anything. And I feel like that's a lesson that these type of women don't teach. So these pussy talk hoes don't teach this shit, but Nicki Minaj do. So y'all go stream. I didn't even know. Oh, so y'all go stream, move your hips, okay? Period. Because that's a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta, y'all gotta listen to the right hoes. Sometimes the music might be good, but the message is bad. Remember that. Remember that. Sometimes the music might be good, but the message is bad. So remember that this shit is just music. This shit is just entertainment. This shit is not real life. And I think that's something that y'all really need to remember. Because these women, these type of girls, they not role models to me. I'm sorry. They just not. Like, I love Suki. I love, like, no disrespect. Like, no disrespect. They, they grinding, they living their best life, they doing everything that I think that they should be doing to further their career, but their mindsets are not like mine. We don't think alike. And that's fine. Like, there's a product for everybody. What I started realizing is, this is why, this is the way I think of life now. I think of life like a store. I think of, of everything like Walmart. Everybody's a product. Everybody's a product. Everybody's a brand. Well, you go to Walmart, every product and every brand is probably in there. And if it's not there, it's at a different store. Okay, cool, right? You go in that store, you pick something up, you like something, like a, a bag of chips. You like a certain, but I like Takis or whatever. Just because you like Takis... Don't mean the Lay's shouldn't be there. You don't look at the fucking Lay's and be like, damn, the Lay's don't deserve to be in this fucking store. Like, why the fuck are the Lay's in here? Like, they shouldn't be selling Lay's. Like, I don't fucking eat Lay's. Fuck when you, if somebody else eats Lay's. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I think of music. That's how I think of music now. That's how I think of artists. There's a product for everybody. There's a brand for everybody. There's a brand with a message that relates to everybody. Like me, I like coconut water. You like soda, you know? Like, you know what I'm saying? I like fresh fruit. You like canned fruit. The produce, the fresh, the produce is for me. The canned good out is for you. That's and that's fine. That's fine because all the products deserve to be in the store because everybody likes something different. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the food in the store is killing you though. Remember that though. You need to remember that a lot of food in the store causes cancer. And just like there's cancer of the body, there's cancer of the mind. A lot of this shit is cancerous to the mind. Um, I don't, I'm not saying that these, this, their music is bad and it's polluting the, the mind, but if you take these messages too deeply, you might be getting cancer. Hey, hey if you, you eat too much junk food, you get fat. You get diabetes. You know what I'm saying? That's just the reality of it. Um, 
Another thing that I would like to say is, um, they were saying that, um, the music made people uncomfortable. I, I feel like I covered that. So the music don't make people uncomfortable. And I just want, Miss, Miss Mulatto is the one who said that. So everything that I said previously, the music don't make people uncomfortable. This, your lack of versatility makes people uncomfortable. And your lack of mind and heart is what makes people uncomfortable. And so if you thought it was un that was what it was, this is what it really is. And I'm, I'm done. I'm off that. Let's talk about how Cardi really gave some really supreme advice. I feel like Cardi B is on a new tip, on some new shit. Like, I feel like she a new person, an, a, an emerged spirit. I feel like she was a non-playable character, and now she she not. She playable. She, she in the game, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, you go in, edit. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Like, no joke. She gave some really good advice to the rap girls. And, um, mo people are reading it. Make sure that, um, it's not a lawyer that's just trying to make a quick buck. Like, it's like, listen, nigga. You're gonna lock me in, so you gotta make sure that this shit is convenient for me, 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 me. So invest in that. Focus on yourself. I wouldn't do anything differently, really. Like, shit, whatever the fuck I did, I did it right, cause I'm here. Um, nobody does that. I, and I, 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 I commend her for doing that because people never want you to know how to make it, like how to get on. I'm gonna insert a clip of her giving really good advice because she told folks to get a lawyer, and I think that's um that's good advice. Um, Suki Hana also gave some good advice. She said, "Learn how to laugh at yourself because being on social media is fucking hard. Being on social media is hard." Um, someone like me, Suki said she been she uh had to have tough skin. I had to have tough skin too. Like people, I got teased through middle school, high school, even college. Like folks trying to clown. Like bitch, don't try to clown. Cause now I'm the I'm the clown queen. I'll be on your motherfucking ass, and I rap now. So it's like, <laughs> you do not my my tongue is a pistol, and I ain't afraid to shoot. Shout out Cash though. Anyways, like I'm saying. So yeah, like I think Cardi gave some really supreme advice. I think uh, Suki gave some really supreme advice. I think that this was a good table. I honestly would love to see more more rap girlies. Uh, more rap girlies get together and have these type of conversations because these conversations need to be had because the future is female. And like there's a hundred rap niggas, there's gonna be a hundred rap females. And I really see that coming and I'm excited to be a part of that future. So, um, so you know, stream my music, stream my bitches' music. Uh, links will be in the description bar because I'm not the only rap bitch to look out for. It's a lot of rap bitches to look out for and I want y'all to see them all even if they low under under underground because I feel like I'm under underground and we all under underground in a way. So it's like yeah but yeah. So um yeah like the future is female and I think that we all need to start we do need to start supporting each other and I think I think Meg and Cardi's link was fake. No, nothing um, in life will convince me that it is genuine. I'm sorry. Just after watching this and watching how genuine the, her interaction with these three women was, I know for a fact that her interaction with Meg was beyond fake. Like, I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. It was. And I hope it was just with Meg. And I really hope that this really was genuine because I just, the Meg and Cardi thing was just very disgenuine to me. All right, let's get into the real tea that everybody really wants to hear about. This is what y'all really wanted to hear about. So, this little clip it from this interview as surfacing of Cardi seemingly giving Nicki Minaj um, credit as being a female rapper who was dominated and still dominating the in a row, row the clip. Time that there was no female rappers at all. Like it's like I had to keep replaying songs from the early 2000s. Like I have to keep replaying it, replaying it, replaying it because for a while there wasn't no female rapper. And then there was one female rapper that dominated for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? And and she did pretty good. She's and been still yeah. dominating. So now it's like more. And then so, um, I like this, you know, like I really do feel like Cardi is turning into a new person. I think that she is trying to build bridges back, she's trying to start fresh, she's, she's trying to be a new person. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I do believe that everybody deserves a second chance. I do believe that we should give Cardi this second chance. I really do. Um, 
I'm not I don't I'm not gonna judge her on anything that she's done in the past from this point forward Cardi has a fresh start with me and Cardi I hope I have a fresh start with you if you ever see this because I think you deserve that I think that um I think you're pregnant if you're not pregnant let me know like if you're not pregnant and it's not a boy I just think you get pregnant that's what I just think I think you're having a boy and I just think you're pregnant that's just what I think maybe you're not maybe that's a reach but I think you're pregnant <laughs> But anyways, so, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I think Cardi's emerging into this new person. And I think that she really is, like, making an effort to actually do real female rap unity now. And not fake it to make it like she was doing it first. I think it's genuine this time. Um, and I, I respect that. And, um, as far as her giving Nikki her props, bye bye. Because Nikki deserved that. Like, the way you shitted on Nikki, um... It was disrespectful, and it made me not like you. It made a lot of bitches not like you. All the barbs that were originally, because all the barbs were supporting you, girl. If you think for one second that the barbs were not team fucking Barty from day one, you are asleep. We loved you. We, oh my God, like, I, I'm, I'm in a million groups with barbs, and girl, we was on your team. But you can't switch up on the queen, like, period. We not here for that. So, you know, to hear you finally give Nikki the credit that she also deserved from the very beginning is beautiful. And a lot of the barbs are going to forgive you, but don't expect Nikki to. She don't owe you that. Like, that's the thing. And the GP is going to have to accept that. The GP is going to try to say Nikki's fake for not accepting Cardi's apology. Well, actually, Cardi's not hasn't apologized. Let's, let's talk about that. Cardi... You are the only person in history who could get away with doing some shit like throwing a fucking shoe, starting a fight at a Harper Bazaar Fashion Week party, and not have to apologize for it, not have to release a fucking press statement. Like, you did none of the above. Like, Doja Cat got caught up on some fake race bullshit, and she had to do a whole goddamn goddamn. And you didn't even so far as blink. Matter of fact, you went so far as to start up some more drama and try to make it go further. I just hope Queen never dropped the video, sis, because it's going to embarrass you. It's going to ruin your career. I know it. I, I know it. And I just hope that never happens. So I, I was you. I would nip that shit in the bud right now. Go ahead and apologize so you can start a fresh start. But GP, what y'all going to have to GP, I'm talking to you locals. Hey, the locals know what's up. Nikki ain't. Nikki don't owe her that. GP, y'all going to have to realize Nikki don't owe her that. Just like y'all don't take back fake people in y'all lives like y'all not expected to go back to old boyfriends who finally apologize old friends who didn't change their ways nikki is not entitled to work with cardi to accept cardi's apology she can but that don't mean she owe her nothing else like she can do it for herself and let it go and i mean she probably already has honestly but in no way does that mean that she's entitled to work with the girl ever again like she did it already. She did it once. It didn't work out well. You know what I'm saying? And she washed her hands of it. I think y'all gonna have to accept that this, we might never get this collab. We might never see that relationship between them. And it would have been beautiful. But honestly, I don't think it would have been. Because Cardi and Nicki, not the same type of mindset person. And neither are none of these bitches on the screen. Like, none of these type of girls are not the type of people that I can see around Nicki Minaj. They just don't think the same way and there's no dig at them that's that don't mean nikki's a better person da, 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 da. but like minds attract and cardi found three like minds like hers that is not nikki Minaj. so i think y'all just oh i think y'all are just gonna have to accept that that's not that's not gonna happen and be okay with it okay okay and there's another video that I wanted to address. Nikki said, I mean, Cardi said that people create fake rap beefs and people want to create beefs. For the most part, you know, she's correct. People do try, the fans, the GP, the locals, whatever, they do try to instigate rap beefs between bitches by, you know, saying that they bitch better, hyping up they bitch, da 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 Yeah, but like, I honestly feel like, Cardi, that yours... And if you ever see this, I honestly feel like your particular beefs, as far as Nikki, as far as Megan goes, I feel like you personally hand-fed into those. If you would have ignored the Nikki stuff and said, nah, it's not like that, I fuck with Nikki, da-da-da-da, instead of doing the shady things that you did being the Instagram 
socialite that you are, you wouldn't have had those problems. And I feel like a lot of the things that you did up until now, even recently, that shit with Meg, dumb fake. Like, you pretending like you've been supporting Meg for the last year and a half. You have not. You've never once tweeted about Meg. You've never once, like, you you being fake. Like, you being fake. And just go ahead and be honest. Like, I, I respected you a lot more when you was a real bitch on Instagram saying what the fuck you wanted to say, you know, telling bitches why is you here. Then why are you here? In the audience? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Remember when you told me that I was just gonna be a stripper? Look at you now, watching me, bitch. I'm fucking loving hip hop. Like, I respected you a lot more when you was beating bitches' asses. And it's cool, like, obviously you needed to tone it down for your career purposes, but I don't respect the fake and the fraud. And Meg, the same goes for you. If you don't really fucking fuck with Cardi, and I get one thing, respecting your bag, but I don't I don't respect bitches who fake kick it. Like, y'all claim to be these real bitches and da 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 but if y'all gonna fake kick it, y'all ain't that real, okay? Because I don't fake kick it with no bitch. I, I, I respect people, you know, I don't try to disrespect nobody, but one thing I don't do is I don't fake kick it. You know what I'm saying? I don't even say hi and bye to bitches if we not friends no more. Bitches know. Then they want to talk shit in the corner and shit. Hi. Mm. I'm going to say it's on petty guy. I ain't say it. But you know who you are. So anyways, like, y'all know I don't, I, don't, I don't fake pump. Like, don't fake pump. It's not a good look. But yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Um... I think that's it. This video is <laughs> cutting on 40 minutes, y'all. So... That's been bedtime with baby. It's going to take me a fucking lifetime to edit this video, y'all. So, I'll see y'all. I enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got the message. And um, just one last thing to all my girls out there who are um, into music, in, are artists, or just, you know, intellectuals or whatever. Be authentic. Like, don't, don't, don't not be authentic. And... Remember that as women, we are multifaceted. We are not just our mind. We're not just our spirit. We're not just nurturers. We're not just caretakers. We're not just sexy, feminine. We are multifaceted beings and be all of that. Don't ever limit yourself to one aspect of yourself, okay? And I really, I really hope that one of these rap bitches see this video so that they get the same message. Like, y'all are so much more than beautiful women with pussies, okay? So, all right. Let's be your bedtime with baby. Bye, you guys.